think because the computer crashed. All right. And of course, there's a little bit of a delay in the camera. Fantastic. All right, it is what it is. Uh, the game is running at accurate speed, though. Uh, you can Repero. not Repero. You can Accurate. get over here. Is what you can do. There we go. Puzzle. Uh, open? Just open. Straight up open. Repair. Yeah, I meant to do that. I don't know what happened, but I meant to do it. Objective. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Holmes mead. That's what it is. Saw a feather. Where did that go? Revelio. Uh, the ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. And my camera has cut out because it's having a derp. So, audio only. I'm not going to mess with the camera. It's so much better when it gets dark out here. I spent all night last night on the tower if that's that thing. How can you not be absolutely fascinated? <laughs> Professor Weasley is a marvel. Never required to write more inches of parchment on a topic than necessary. I spent hours trying to conjure a meat pie when I was Rebellious. I need to then find out about Gamp's law. Repair her. Accio. When practically it's evident. I think I can get an eye on my configuration OW well. Oh, fascinating. Hello. Looking for me? Sure am. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience.
was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Rebellion! Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. From a forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Proud tooth and sugar person. That's the forbidden the forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Well, let's ah, go. There's Hogsmeade right over the now, crest. We're going Pass that ruin. Forbidden forest. Ah, crap. All right. We don't want to fail the mission. Later. We'll go later. What can I do? Action! Let me <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got mad dodging skills. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say... While I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. We shall get sneak into the other common rooms. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? <sighs> Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. 
I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Well, all right. The Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guides map. Let's open that map. All right. We got Gladrag's Wizardware Clothing Shop, both elegant and eccentric wizard. It has two additional locations in London and Paris. Uh, J. Pippin's Potions. Horlavandas. Tombs and Scrolls. Do that one first. It would be nice if it would sh always place a shirt on the minute. 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 An inquiring mind. Uh, Thomas Brown, what you got? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Alright, so do I guess I have 54 gold dollars? Whatever it is. Ooh, it's all free. What's the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot? Use it its, use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. Purchase. And uh, small potion station is perfectly suited to all my potion brewing needs. Purchase that as well. Purchase that as well. If there you're we go. interested, right. feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Outside of my budget for now, unfortunately. But we will talk to him later. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Next place is. Next place is going to be on the map, and it appears to be. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm here. I need to go there. All right. Not 
sure if I've already pet this cat yet. If I have, double the pets. Are these save points? No, it can't be. I think it's just the thing. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, I get to uh, design my wand, it appears. Oh, oh. How intriguing. It just looks like a stick. Uh, Curious indeed. Maybe. Oh, da, 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 da. oh there's variations. So I guess it's the initial design. You can How intriguing. Color. Okay. Um, that one looks just like very... Uh, it, maybe that one. If we can get the right color. Curious indeed. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. How intriguing. Ooh, soft spiral, kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, curious indeed. Spiral, no. Stalk. Maybe. Yeah, that one. Call it a boom. There it is. Um, Curious indeed. I'm not seeing any differences when I do this. How intriguing. Curious indeed. 
We're gonna go with Oak. Seem like an Oak guy. You like Oak? How intriguing. Red. Light. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of jokes that can be made here. Um, Curious indeed. Uh, eleven. Well, I'm going to go with 12 and 3 quarters because that seems very oddly specific. How intriguing. Uh, <laughs> quite bendy, fairly bendy, very flexible, quite flexible, surprisingly swishy, swishy, slightly springy, supple, Curious reasonably indeed. supple, whippy, pliant, brittle, hard, solid, stiff, rigid, unbending, slightly yielding. Unyielding. How intriguing. Uh, let's go with... Whippy. Whippy sounds good. Uh... You... The hair of a unicorn that serves at the core of a wand, known for producing consistent magic. Dragon heartstring that serves at the core of a wand, known for producing powerful magic. Uh, consistent... Uh, feather of a phoenix that serves at the core of a wand, capable of producing a great... Range of magic. Uh, let's go with the range. Go ah, for the Phoenix Fella. Bit of everything. Exceptionally rare, and a call with a strong sense of initiative. Yeah, purchase. Done. What do you Decided. think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Ba, 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 ba. Visit us again, I sure will. Three brew. Uh, that's where I get my butter beer after I've done all of my doings. Uh, Zonko's tricks and jokes. Uh, sure. That is a thing. That is definitely a thing. Max doesn't like it. Lumos. Not Lumos. Uh, Rebellion. That. What does this one do? Oh, it's actually pulled the menu. Okay. We shall return. Potions and the magic key. That's a locked door. That is also a locked door. This is the potion. Place. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. 
You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? You can get me my potion recipe and my potion recipe. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Do come back. Uh, a scholarly cloak. Um, how do I equip that? I want to equip that. I want to wear my scholarly cloak. Is it in my scholarly gear menu, which hasn't really been discovered yet, because I haven't really been paying attention to this menu, and I probably should pay more attention. Uh, let's put some gloves on. Oh. And then let's put some... Uh, no, two... Looks too much like that other character. Um, solid, solid choice. Uh, a beige scarf. It is a little, little chilly out there. Gotta wear that. Scarly cloak. Hell yeah. Scarly AF. Scarly AF. This is Al Post. No Al Post. Uh, quest, maps, challenges. Uh, collections. Discovered any beasts yet? Um, so yeah, we'll get back to it. Uh, what's next thing? Visit the magic neep neep. That's not a door. That is a chalkboard. Uh, we will now head towards the door. Uh, what do we got here? Woo! Money. Another locked door. And another locked door. See what's up here. Uh, Madam Snelling's trip. Sure, let's see what's in here. What's in the Emporium? What do you have? What do you sell? Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly. Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them, Irish, they're stuck in the dust at the Ministry, and I'm here, thriving. Absolutely thriving. She's not but look thriving. at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? You sure? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Oh, fancy. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? So Jerry Trotter can be rebuilt from the ground up. Jerry Trotter knows who Jerry Trotter is. But wait, what 
fortunate the school's so close to Hogsmeade. There's not a lot of Let's pull up the map and find out where exactly we're going. Nope. 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 No, that's not where I'm going. That is indeed where I'm going. Can I pet the chicken? The rooster? No. Can I make it float? Cause I'm a, cause I'm an asshole. Let me go. Nope. Okay. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then, Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a beard. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. And that does appear to be everything. And that will probably do it for the stream after I get that page, because that page ain't gonna get itself. Um, that's, uh. Yeah, buddy. Got it. How do I get back? Uh, get the room all wet. These graphics aren't realistic. The, the coat didn't get wet. Should be drying off. Should be soaking. He's not. Most unrealistic graphics ever. Oh, there's no splash. In the oh, no, there's a little bit of splash. You can see the, the, the mud trek imprints, which are going to slightly carry over into over here. Cool. All right. All right. Take it back. I take it back. I take it back. And uh, is the track up here? Nope. Okay. Uh, jump in the puddle. 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 All right. That's it. End of stream. I'll be nice to each other. And make good choices. We'll see y'all later. Y'all can't see me because camera's off. Or it's on, but.